Hi friends, we're going to be learning how to draw a hot dog. You need a pencil and you're going to write your name and class code on the back. You're going to flip it over and fold it into four parts. You can do this by making a hamburger and a hot dog fold and then turning it around. You should have four squares. You're going to be using a pencil, but I'm going to be using a Sharpie for the demonstration. We're going to start with a very long smiley face shape. This is for the top of our bun. Then we're going to connect our Sharpie back to where we left off and we're going to curve it around for the side of the bun and the bottom of the bun. We're going to curve it right back around to where I started. That should be about three finger lengths. Now I'm going to come behind my hot dog bun and I'm going to draw the hot dog parallel to the line I just made. Parallel means it goes side by side. Now I'm going to draw a third parallel line for my other side of my hot dog bun. I think I'll add some mustard or ketchup to this side of the hot dog and then to the other side of the hot dog. So it's just a curvy line that goes all the way across. Now I'm going to start my face. I'm going to be making my eyes with two large circles. You can make yours on the ends of your bun like I did or you can draw them closer together in the middle. It's totally up to you. I'm drawing two small circles inside of my eyes and I'm going to leave those white. When you go back, back over with Sharpie, you can color the background in so that that stays black and the tiny dots stay white. That's kind of like the glimmer in our hot dog's eye. Now I'm going to draw my mouth and I think I want it to be a long arch across. You can draw yours again however you want because it's your drawing. I think I'll add a tongue and voila, I'm complete. Go over this with Sharpie when you are finished with pencil. I'm going to start coloring with colored pencil. I'm going to test it out to make sure it's the color that I want. You can do that on the side of your paper because we're going to be cutting these out so you won't see that little mark. I'm taking my time pressing firm so that it's nice and bright. I'm going to add some oil pastel to the sides of my hot dog and maybe a little bit on my actual hot dog just to give it some dimension to make it look 3D. And then I'm going to take my finger and blend that oil pastel in. I think I will add some red onto my hot dog just to give it that hot dog color. Don't forget to blend it in with your finger very gently. When you're finished, you can grab a baby wipe if you don't have one yet and wipe your fingers off. Remember to only get one for today. When you are finished with all four of the characters you have chosen, cut them out one by one and then you're going to be writing your name on the back of each one. When you're finished writing your name on the back of each character, you're going to take a paper clip and paper clip them together so that they all stay together for when we finish this project next week. Have fun! 